Hey there, family. How are we doing today, tonight, this evening, whatever hat we have? But um, I just want to come with this quick word. Sorry about my lash. Um, before I get started eating and things, uh, my name is Latoya Love. If you're new to the channel and uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I just want to say thank you. God loves you and I love you. Um, and some people may wonder why we say we love each other because, you know, when God showers and engrave his love in your heart, you just have love for, for each and every individual. Just think about we have to love people that who has wronged and hurt us. So, Father God, we just ask that your spirit and helps me speak and your spirit just live, love, and think through me. Father God, get all the glory. We welcome your spirit and your presence and help me speak to your people in Jesus' name. Um, I want to do this video really quick because there's a message uh, from the Lord. And we, he's always got a message. He's always um, giving you encouraging words. Um, but I, this is messages for someone. Um, you can confirm or send a testimony to my email box. Um, but the Lord um, is saying, no. Consult with him first before you make decisions. First of all, the Lord says to include him in everything and that means everything meaning everything not what you want him to be included and that's why some people go their own way and do what they want to do and they don't follow Yah. it's because they want to do what they want to do and i remember when i was doing that so he says and i'm gonna get the scripture and it reads from the book of, sorry, in my camera guide, hold on, <laughs> I gotta get the, um, okay, you see back there on my door, I got sticky notes, sticky notes, right there, that's my bathroom, and then if you see right here, prayers, I got that board, I just, I don't know where I got this, said that guys, and I hang my prayers to God. And that says, let go and let God. I'm going to read those prayers in a moment. But what I want to say, this is a message for someone. I want to say, I can't say it's not for everyone because it is. But there, there's, there's something that you are about to do that God is saying. And this includes me. Because God says invite him and, 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 and consult him be, and do it with him. Find your success with him. The reason people fall, come short is because we don't consult with the father. He says the reason why he don't want you to just go ahead and do what you want to do and go ahead with whatever it is you think is because he said you may, this could harm you. Whatever decision that... Your spirit has not given you peace and that you have not consulted with the most high God, yeah. And 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 and, and when God does not give your answer, thank you, Holy Spirit, that means you do nothing. You wait. I learned that. He told me that. You wait. You don't do anything. You wait, okay? So if you have um prayed about something and God has not answered you, you wait. It could be with whatever it is about a job, about being with somebody, you wait, you wait. And what I'm learning is, especially with kingdom spouses, a lot of times it'd be somebody that you have ran across before. I've listened to a lot of testimonies, you know, and this is the season God is about to bring together kingdom marriages. I don't even know why I said that, but, I did. but anywho, I'm going to read this really quick. It says, after... Josiah had finished restoring the temple. King Nico of Egypt led his army up from Egypt to do battle in Karmakish, Karmish, I don't know. <laughs> oh Lord, of the, on the Euphrates River and Josiah and his army marched out to fight him. But King Nico sent ambassador to, to Josiah with his message. What do you want in me, king of Judah? I have no quarrel with you today. I only want to fight the nation with which I am, I am at war. And God has told me to hurry. Do not interfere with God who is with me or he will destroy you. So 
Think about when we in interfere with God's plans, it could get you killed. It could get you hurt or wounded. Not meaning physically. It could be, you know, um, a man or a woman can hurt you or a family member can do something. So God is saying, wait for him. No, don't go on your own. But Josiah refused to listen to Nico, to whom God had indeed spoken. And he would not turn back. Instead, he led his army into battle on the plain of uh, the plain of Megiddo. And he laid aside his royal robe so the enemy would not recognize him. So he tried to disguise himself. And maybe had they recognized him, he wouldn't have got killed. But because he laid his robe aside, so they would not recognize him. But the enemy archers hit King Josiah with the arrows and wounded him. He cried out to his men, take me from the battle for I am badly wounded. But this is where I got this message from. This is why God would speak to you through his Bible, you know. That's why you, you don't just read things. We meditate it. And the Lord has taken me here um, plenty of times. And it could be a message not just for me. It'd be for you. But God is saying, he said, do not interfere with God who is with me or he will destroy you. Let me tell you something. And another thing you get from this message. God will. God is not going to play about his chosen ones. So that's why he tell us to pray for our enemies because his wrath will be poured out on them and so that he can have mercy on them. So the message today right now is whatever you are planning to do and you have not consulted with God, consult with him. Because whatever you're doing, you, you have not got confirmation, you have not got clarity, and this could possibly harm you. That's why when we ask for things and God don't answer our prayers when we want it to, it's because he be saving us. He be saving us. Because the devil is out to kill you, to steal from you and destroy your life. So child of God, listen to what I'm saying. Go take this message and test the spirit back to the Lord to see if this message is indeed for you. But this message is technically for everybody because we're supposed to consult the Lord about everything we do. And I'm working on that. So I, y'all, I talked to God about the smallest thing. I'm telling you the smallest detail. So I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. But God is saying, do not go ahead with whatever it is you need to wait for me come consult with me and don't go without me don't interfere with my plans because maybe you pray for something or you think that he's told you to do something and um he hasn't and you're about to go ahead on and do it it's gonna mess up what he has has in store you may finna speak to your uh, he's made a game, told you who your uh, kingdom spouse is and you're, he's not, you thinking he's giving you to go ahead to say something. And, and, and like in the book of Psalms or Psalms, it says, don't wake in love until the time is right. You might awake in love and it ain't the right time. So whatever it is, do not go pray about this and speak to the Lord. But God is saying, stay where you are. Do not go forth. Okay. God loves you. Bye.